There is still an amazing difference in cervical cancer control throughout the world due to the poor coverage of cytological screening tests in remote areas. Cytological test sampling and staining is so easy and cheap that the primary health care professionals can carry them out successfully and therefore prevent the disease from developing to advanced stages. Moreover, in such remote areas, cytological tests could allow for expanding the coverage of screening of neoplastic diseases of many other anatomical sites, such as breast, lymphatic glands, thyroid, and soft tissues. This multimedia tutorial is up to show that cytology staining by Papa Nicolaus Mears is easy and cheap, and thus should be promoted and recommended also in locations where only primary healthcare professionals are available. The midwife or any health professional sampling the cervix must mirror the specimen from the external cervix and phonixes that are collected by a wooden spatula over the half, half of the slide. The specimen from the cervical canal collected by the cotton swab is smeared over the lower half. The specimen must be uniformly spread over one slide and immediately fixated by either liquid or spray fixative. The Gilles hematoxylin 2 stains nucleuses. The eosin based EA50 stains cytoplasms. Concentration of ethyl alcohol of 100% and 95% are needed, although even the cheaper isopropyl alcohol is effective at the same concentrations. Moreover, we need small glass containers for dipping smears and top or clean source running water. Finally, cover slips and clearium mounting medium are the tools for assembling and finalizing the setup of the slide. The protocol ought to take place at an environment temperature from 16 to 25 Celsius degrees and a time of smear dipping complying with the recommended schedule precisely. The staining steps are executed one by one continuously and the whole procedure takes less than 30 minutes. Whichever fixative may have been used upon sampling, the smear is put under the flow of running water for 10 minutes long. Then the smear is incubated in Gilles hematoxylin 2 for 2 minutes time, to be then washed in running water for at least 1 minute more. Thereafter, the smear is dipped in alcohol at 95% for one minute long. The next step is the staining in EA50 for two minutes. After the EA50, the sequence is made up of one 30 seconds long dipping in alcohol at 95% and thereafter three steps of dipping in alcohol at 100% for two minutes long each. The professional finalizes by putting some drops of methacrylate based medium. The commercial name is Clearium Mountain Medium to add a cover slip and clear from air bubbles. The first and most frequent impairment is improper distribution of the specimen over the slide upon sampling. Second, strong inflammation of the cervix brings too much mucus and granulocytes into the specimen. In this case, the recommendation is that upon sampling, the midwife gently cleans the cervix with 0.9% saline soaked cotton swab. Third, blood is also an impairment. Fourth, the scraping of poor lot of cervical cells makes the test uninterpretable as well. Finally, bacteria lyse cytoplasms.
Bare nucleuses do not help the microscopic screening. Now the quality of sampling and staining is checked under view of microscope. Squamous cells and endocervical cells should be visible both isolated or in clusters. Proper sampling and staining is cheap with regards to consumables and easy as a maneuver. Even though not shown here, basic screening principles of microscopic views are simple as well. In this way, the excess of women to cervical cancer screening can be incredibly smooth.